and welcome to the world premiere of Human Capital. <laughs> to begin with, I'd like to acknowledge that this screening is taking place on the, tri uh, the treaty territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nations and the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee, the Anishinaabe, and the Huron-Wendat, and we are so grateful for the opportunity to be working in the community today and every day of every year. <laughs> yes. I also want to remind you that this film is eligible for the Girls People's Choice Award. Uh, you can vote by going to tiff.net slash vote and picking your favorite films there. And I want to thank our wonderful partners at United Talent Agency who've been amazing at bringing us great films year after year. Can I get a round of applause for them? I think often um, when we think of the word remake, we uh, put a stigma behind it. And I think that um, this is a really incredible film because it takes um, uh, the original source material and the filmic source material and does something interesting with it, translates the great things about the tone but brings its own energy to it. And I think a lot of that is thanks to the man I'm about to bring on stage. So without further ado, it's my great pleasure to introduce Mark Myers. Hi, um, thank you for having me. Thank you for Toronto. Thank you, Michael, and everyone at the uh, Toronto International Film Festival. Personally, this is a huge honor for me. I've made some independent films that were shown in, on folding chairs in regional film festivals. And to be on this stage, I don't take a moment of this for granted. I wanted to uh, thank, on behalf of everyone, I wanted to thank everyone at the festival, but also in part of the community of people that could rally behind this film to make it happen. Um, Maven Pictures, Trudy Styler, Celine Rattre, <laughs> Nick Marshall and Jenny Halper, Hardy Justice, Burke Marcus Films, Liev Schreiber. <laughs> yeah. The author of the book is here, Stephen Amidon. good friend and screenwriter, Aura Moverman, is here. I'm also joined here by my producing partner and lovely wife, Jody Gergenti. And our wonderful cast. I have Leah Schreiber here. Peter, Peter Sarsgaard. Betty Gabriel, <laughs> Alex Wolf, <laughs> and Maya Hawk. <laughs> and we'll all see you after the film. Thank you so much. I'd like to welcome back to the stage Mark Myers. Thank you. Thanks, um, I, thank you so much. I'd love to introduce some very talented, lovely people that I got to collaborate with. First, the author of the original book, Stephen Amidon. Our screenwriter, Orrin Wilberman. <laughs> Betty Gabriel. Alex Wolf, are you in the house? <laughs> My Hawk, are you around?
Peter Sarsgaard. And Liev Schreiber. start by talking about the adaptation. Um, it, the book is such a vivid text, and I was wondering if the three of you worked together, if you had worked at all on the script, um, if you felt, if you were involved in the adaptation process, if Warren could speak to the collaboration there. Uh, I wasn't involved in the process, well, except for writing the novel. So. I was barely involved in the process, <laughs> except for writing for the screenplay. Um, no, I, and my job is probably the easiest of everyone on the stage. I, I watch the movie, I read the book, and I wrote a screenplay. <laughs> and then Mark came on board and told me what to do and what he wanted, and that's the movie. Were there elements for, for both of you that were important to hold from the original book that weren't in the other movie, that were important to hold from the movie that really stood out as working cinematically? Is there a piece of that? that yeah, I mean, I, I actually, small confession, keep it to yourself. Uh, I, I didn't know there was a book when I saw the movie. Uh, and then I discovered there was a book. And I fell in love with the structure of the movie. And then I fell in love with Stephen's writing. And uh, I think bringing it back to America was sort of the, the goal here. And there was literary quality that, of storytelling that you know, was sort of for me, it was very attractive and sort of like having scenes revolve around people telling stories. I'm curious, uh, you have such an amazing cast here and it's such an incredible ensemble film. Uh, <laughs> but in a film like this, it, all, of, all of the scenes feel very lived in, but in, in some ways, some of them are very separated. I'm curious how much time you guys spent together in terms of the connections that did happen, and, and you know, did you do table reads for the full thing, that sort of thing, so. Um, there was not a table read. I met Maya in person the first day of filming, because um, she was finishing Stranger Things the night before. Alex and I go back from my friend Dahmer, so I gave him the script early on, and Liev and I met in advance, and then we made sure that he was available, because we, we connected a lot about a, a fresh interpretation of this um, main character of Drew. And I'll leave it to some of the actors to talk the rest. <laughs> oh, you have something to say? I met Peter today. Um, that is completely true. <laughs> I hadn't met him. And I just want to say this is the first time I've seen the movie, and Maya, Peter, Liev, and Betty, you guys are all so incredible in this movie. I was like kind of floored by it, and I feel really honored to be in the movie. Now say something nice about me. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I, I, guess, I guess my question is also for you guys, what, what drew you to the script, what drew you to this project? I think it's like, it, it is such strong material, but it has a statement to say, is there, is there something specific that stood out to you? Uh, for me, uh, you know, I had, a, I had a playwriting teacher who said that all British drama is about class. And I always wondered why that wasn't true in America. And as the income gap in this country increases, um, the effect of that on us culturally, socially, and as families and is becoming, to me, more and more profound. And I thought Oren did a really beautiful job of um, addressing that uh, aspect of, uh, uh, of, of this kind of uh, carousel of characters. Um, and uh, y that, to me, feels like it's, 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 a, it's a kind of pressing issue for our time, I think, the notion that uh, 
the uh, m money and identity are are uh, becoming increasingly uh, bedfellows. And the way that it affects every class negatively, just in different ways. You know, you see everyone being ground down by basically the same thing. And um, it's oppressive. And I, I think it's also interesting, you know, just the interconnectedness of the whole film. That was what always really interested me. The, the way the story was being told, the various people involved. Um, Orrin and I were just realizing we met each other like, how many years ago was that? Jesus' son. Wow. <laughs> so like very, very long time ago. And you know, I've been wanting to say what he writes for a very long time. So um, I, I just have a real taste for the way he writes things down. Obviously, I think we all fell in love with Orrin's script. And that's what gathered us all here. And then the book. And I think we all fell in love with the structure. We fell in love with um, the I, I eventually read the novel and was completely disenchanted with Orrin. <laughs> <laughs> Plagiarist. <laughs> On that Sorry, Mark. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to open it up to the audience. Yeah, to clear that questions. There's nothing wrong with stealing. Right here? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to ask if, you know, Drew is such an unexpected character in some ways. It's like being someone whose daughter is young, raised her as a single parent, yet becomes a gambler and alcoholic, and we see them a formal relationship and then she trades away something of hers at the end. And you must have reflected a lot on how, how to bring something to that. So the question was, he's such a complex character, you must have thought a lot on how to bring something to that. What, what do you feel like you came with? Uh, you know, trying to figure out who he was and where he was from in that Westchester kind of community of brokers and a guy who uh, sees an opportunity to change his station in life and it um, you know we moved so quickly on this movie and I will not lie I'm not lying to you when I tell you that it it actually cost $34.99 <laughs> and Maya got 30 of that <laughs> no it was it was really just trying for me, it, it was, it was a, a real learning exercise in moving quickly. And I enjoyed that. And for, it, was, it, was, it was about spontaneity, picking your battles and executing and, 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 and responding to this extraordinary company of actors. But that's sort of what had to happen, is we just had to rely on each other at the pace we were moving. And, uh, I really enjoyed that. Mark and I spent a lot of time early on um, looking at this, the community. I, it was very important to me to kind of find the class piece. Having been trained in England, I was sort of like, well, that's important, class. And I was thinking about that. That who is he and where is he? What's he sound like? What's he look like? And um, we just started and went with it. I wish I could say I had done a more coherent analysis of it, but sometimes you just go. I'll just add that there was one morning we were, t we were together and in the car you arrived in, uh, talking about the day ahead, it was like 7 a.m. And he said, we gotta get going, it's gonna get dark soon. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was just like, we always felt like the sky was falling because it was gonna get dark at four o'clock in November, and so we had a lot to do. Um, we have time for a couple more, we'll go here. So the question was for anybody on the stage, what do, you, what do you take away from the film? 
Um, I'll answer. I'll give it a shot. Um, I guess what I think I took away was that a single event can impact everybody differently um, and change everybody's story in a different way. Some for the better. Like some, like I think in some ways, the events of this movie change Shannon's life for the better. Like I think she learns a lot and grows a lot and becomes a deeper person. And that has to do with the fact that, you know, it has to do with her class and her privilege, which isn't as high as some people in the movie and isn't as low as others. And where we all stand in society makes every event that happens to our country, our world, our environment, our politics impact each and every single one of us differently, depending on where we are in the world, our, our race, our class, our, and, um, and I think that this movie is a microcosm of, of that, uh, where all the things we share in common impact all of us differently. So that's probably what I took away from it. I'll say something, because I haven't all this time. Um, I really, I, as the person who plays the most, maybe not the most, but one of the more empathetic characters, uh, me personally, I can be very judgmental <laughs> and very harsh, uh, a harsh critic of especially people in power and, you know, capitalist greed. And I think this is all, something we're all becoming more and more aware of and we're all you know attacking each other on twitter and uh pointing the fingers at the the one percent but um i mean we're all the same <laughs> no matter if we're way up here or way down there and we have to come to some sort of agreement with that some sort of um, acceptance of that, and I don't know where we go from there, but I think this movie definitely helps us see that the human adventure is uh, is a tough one, and yeah, it's tough being human. <laughs> yeah. We have time for one more. I'm looking out here. So the question was, oh no. Did you no, 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 to get some feedback from each other? No, no. <laughs> you know, I, I, when I saw the Italian film, I didn't like Drew very much. And I, I figured out how to answer your question now, I'm sorry. <laughs> My agenda, aside from trying to be specific in a place where we could understand class in an American context, more than anything, what I wanted to try to do, and, and, and in watching the film, I saw Peter do this very successfully because you know, none of us have really seen the whole thing, which is because Peter's character is you know, just a terrible asshole. Um, <laughs> but what I, what, I, what I didn't like, there were a couple things I really liked about the Italian film, a couple things I thought maybe we could do differently, which was try to find a way to humanize the characters. In other words, rather than playing them in a kind, as, as kind of caricature or in, you know, to borrow from the Italian, a kind of a, 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 a kind of a commedia type character, he's the rich, master, I'm the kind of medium level guy, and then there's the surf over here, that we would find a way it, that is typically American to kind of humanize everybody and kind of fudge it all together. And, <laughs> and I, I, I just thought, I just wanted to you know, pay a compliment to my pal to say that, you know, I think everyone did that, but I think Peter had a remarkably difficult role in that regard because that guy is just, he's on top of the world. And, and that to me is, is, is what makes it compelling and, 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 and conflicted. I did kill somebody. I, I apologize, Alex. I mean, he may have been rich, I, but like I, I, I killed somebody. I just, when so you if you said, liked me, it's a little bit of a harder job, say, but uh, when you thanks said, a lot, Liv. When you said say something nice, I was like, no, I'm not gonna now. I'm not, it's, it's over. Later. Have some cocktails. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> <laughs>
I just want to make sure you guys don't want to add to that before we have to wrap up. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. I'm not willing to throw one back. I'll do it in private. Okay. <laughs> well, I want to thank you all so much for coming and sharing the film with us. We have thank to you so much. House. Thank, thank you so you. much.